Hey YouTube, uh, Drew here over at Rev Hiker Outdoors, and uh, I just came out in the woods today, and I just wanted to do a couple, a couple videos. I know I haven't posted in a couple weeks, so I wanted to get some new stuff onto the channel. Uh, I apologize, apologize if I'm squinting too much. It's pretty bright out here. We're finally starting to get a little bit warmer weather. Um, so I, I've talked several times in, in other videos about this pack and I want to do just a brief gear review uh, on this Marmot compressor pack. Um, so you guys know that I like ultralight stuff, I go ultralight packing and, and I showed you uh, another one of my videos, kind of my gear loadout um, for a three season thing. Well for a four season uh, I add this to my uh, Mountain Smith Daylight um, and then sometimes uh, I just leave the Mountain Smith at home and I take just this for a three season. This does have a little more capacity so things are a little bit looser um, when, I, when I pack in this but it allows me for a little extra clothes if it's going to be colder uh, and, and stuff like that. Um, so today I just wanted to, to go over some of the things that I like about this, don't want to do a long review. Um, but again this is the Marmot compressor, it's not any of the other, other iterations of it, it's just the plain compressor. It's pretty small. I think it's 1,100 cubic inches, um, or maybe 900. I can't remember right now. Um, but anyway, I like it. It's got uh, it's got a front clip. Um, so this is just kind of like a hooded. I call them a hooded backpack, where uh, you know you've got the pack and then excuse me, this just folds over. Okay, so you got it's just a tube, basically. Um, very simple. No water pockets on the outside. That's the one downside. If I would change anything, I would just add two little pockets for like a water bottle on, on either side. Um, but other than that, it's very comfortable. The, the top flap uh, has a pocket in it here, and you can put all kinds of goodies on top there, uh, whether it's a map or, or your snacks or whatever the case may be. Um, the shoulder straps are comfortable. They've got some webbing on the inside of them, a uh, very thin piece of foam. Um, and uh, got a nice sternum strap on there. No hip belt on this, but in the loads that I carry, I really don't need it. Um, it does have a sleeve uh, in the back where you can put a, um, you know, like a hydration pack if that's what you choose, and you can run it out the bottom or the top. And uh, there are little loops on the shoulder straps to run that, so. If that's how you, if that's your style, then it will work with that. Uh, I generally don't. I've had bladders burst on me, and uh, it's never good when your bladder leaks. If you know what I'm saying. Um, so anyway, I don't like that, but I, I just carry water bottles. Um, at the top, you can cinch it with this. Um, I guess, I guess that's about it. It's a really simple pack. Um, it's proved to be pretty durable. I sprayed this several times with waterproofing just to make sure because I don't like wet gear. Uh, the bottom is a little heavier and the midsection is just really light nylon and the top again is that heavy, heavier uh, stuff but it works great and uh, what you can also do is the whole thing will fold up in to this top pocket which is kind of neat. You can just uh, you know ram the whole thing right in here and, and it'll all fold up nice and and uh, it's very packable. So again, kind of like with the Mountain Smith, if you want to bring this as a day pack somewhere, you know, throw it in your car, or if you're going on a bigger trip with a bigger pack, if that's your style, then you know this will fold down into that. So uh, I think this weighs uh, 11 ounces total with the foam pad that comes in, which I took out, and I just use it as a needle pad in my other system. Um, but anyway, this is the Marmot compressor really like the pack. It is very comfortable even for being ultra light. Um, good storage. Uh, there's got there's got the front strap and then two side uh, compression straps where you can cinch them down um, and really if you have a light load you can really pull this down and make it nice and compact and keep it tight on your back so it's not bouncing around if you're kinda moving quick or whatever. Um, but anyway that's my review. I love using this thing. It's good for three season. Um, and it's I, I add it to my daylight uh, for four season. So uh, anyway, that's my review on the Marmot compressor. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to like, thumbs up, and subscribe. Hey guys, 
<clears throat> just wanted to uh, give you some shots of the Marmot compressor in action in case you were wondering how it looked. Uh, this is kind of how it carries. And uh, you can see the sternum strap works nice. Set it wherever you want it. Uh, you can carry this low. You can carry it high. Um, the pack, pack is pretty nice. So anyway, just wanted to give you guys some shots of how this looked when you're walking. And about how it feels. Anyway, there it is. So I just kind of plant this right where I want it. There we go.